never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations. Oh, 'cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. 'Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you you take all my wrongs and make them better. Vlog today, cats. Where are you going? I have a big, huge package here. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'll get to open it in it today. It's actually a new swing, so um, yeah. So I haven't really vlogged in um, in a while. I've been kind of doing not not very many vlog videos lately, so. Here we go. Here's some Kit Kat footage too. I've been showing you that. They're getting so big. And it is, I don't know what time it is. I'm thinking it's like seven. And it's supposedly, oh, I feel rain. It's supposedly it is 73 degrees. It kind of doesn't really feel like it. It feels a little warmer. So it has been hot this is the past week. Today's Friday. Today is um, hubby's birthday weekend. Tomorrow's his birthday. So today I'm gonna one, go for a walk. Um, I didn't do any yard work this week. I gave Gary the week off. I think these are dying. Yeah. Um, Cause I had doctor's appointments and stuff like that to do. So are you gonna climb the tree, Calvin? He loves to climb the tree. So, um, but I have a Fix It Friday video. If you missed it yesterday, or not yesterday, cause I'm gonna post this on Sunday. If you missed it on Friday, go back and watch that. That's episode three. And I still have quite a bit more stuff to do. Hubby moves this Thai plant out here from and it's looking better um, from the patio. It actually needs a lot of sun. Anyway, so my plans are to go for a walk. If it doesn't, mm, it's raining. Um, Cause it is the last day of the walk 30 days challenge. And um, actually today I'm gonna, when I post this, it's gonna be November 1st. And it's gonna be the first day of the, the, I don't know what you call it. It's just a water challenge. <laughs> I should call drink it up buttercup water challenge. That's what I should call it. Cause sometimes I say that cause I am doing terrible. I ordered a, okay, this is what I look like in the morning. So I ordered one of those, um, I don't know what you call it. Those bottles that have the markings on it. So it says 8 AM, 10 AM. I don't know increments on it so you make sure you drink enough water so i ordered one of those i don't know how long it would take before it gets here whether or not probably not gonna i just ordered it yesterday so you're not gonna see it in this video but um yeah so actually the water challenge doesn't start until it doesn't start today so i'm not gonna worry about it today <laughs> It will start on Sunday when you're watching this. So if you want to join the Facebook group, go ahead and go there. I will put a link down below. It's a walk water sunshine because it's not about just walking. It's about getting sunshine every day and getting enough water every day. And yeah, so um, go check that out and join because there will be another walking challenge. I don't know when. I'm gonna to continue to walk. Actually, I'm probably gonna ride my bike a lot this month. So there's that. In case you haven't seen the the um, swing is busted, kind of unfixable busted. Yeah. Um. So my plans today is to make um, cheesecake and show you all the recipe and do a little bit of cleaning and that kind of thing. Are you gonna climb the tree, Calvin? You gonna show them your tree climbing skills? He loves climbing the tree. I also need to mow the lawn, I don't know, do some laundry, all that kind of stuff. What are you doing? 
Happy birthday weekend, hubby. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're a little grouchy this morning. You don't feel too, you don't feel good. So, um, okay, my other plan is to decorate, clean and decorate the entryway for hubby. Because I never do Halloween. And I do have some Halloween stuff that I bought. I don't know. I, since my son left the house, I don't really decorate for Halloween. So I have some Halloween stuff I want to put out. Do the, the entryway. And I might clean the dining room today. <laughs> it's a mess. Uh, don't ask. Um, I don't know if that'll be in this video or I do another video. So I don't know. I'm going to go get dressed and um, go for my walk first. And this room is still a work in progress. Don't ask about that either. And um, yeah, the Monica closet still did not happen for the month of October. There's hope that it might get done this month. We shall see. I don't know. All right, so I didn't order another uh, wood swing. I ordered a metal one. And it's gonna, it lays down. So that'll be nice. I can lay on it. You're gonna sit here and put this together. Joy. <laughs> yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. Kirby decides to make an appearance. Hi, Kirby. From our walk, will this be all done? No. <laughs> Why not? I'm gonna take a nap on the swing when I get back. Oh, the other thing we're doing today is going to vote. Right, baby? Yeah. So we're gonna go early vote today. Although it's really not going to be a problem in our precinct because we live in the boonies and there's not a whole lot of people that live out here. There's only like 4,000 people in our town. So it's not going to be a problem. Too many. Is there only one place to vote in, yeah, in this? Okay. But the last time we voted, there was not a lot. So it's not a problem. Was there, I know I went early, was there a line when you went and voted the last time? Yeah. It was? Not much. Okay, not like it is in the next town up, for sure. It's, but we're, I think we're gonna go and get it done and over with today. Okay, I'm just gonna go for a little walk and then maybe go up to the park in a little bit. I'm just gonna walk up and down the street here. Okay, swing is done. Let me put it all together. I did the canopy with some help. It was frustrating. I hate doing stuff like that. So, very nice swing. I think it was $238. If I would have bought another one of those, it was like $400. Plus, it wouldn't have a canopy. So, I opted for this. I looked a bunch of them. This was a pretty good price, I think. So, um, it, it lays down. And it has... I just finished putting all the caps on it. It comes with caps to cover the screws. And how do you do this? How do you release this to make it lay down? You lift the, pull up the lever. Okay, so it lays down. Because I was going to get one of those bed things. It was like $600, $700 or something like that. Now, hubby, this is your birthday present. <laughs> just kidding. Whatever. So, we just got it. We don't really do birthday presents. If we want something, we buy it. If we can afford it. Anyway, so... um. He did pick the color. I wanted red. I'm glad we got this because I thought it was like a real beige color. It's more of a tan color, so I'm happy about that because I know the beige would get dirty really fast. Snicker, do you want to lay down and take a nap with me? So I only went for that short little walk. What time is it, babe? Are we gonna 26. Are we gonna go vote during your lunch time? Uh, I don't know. Or are you gonna take off early to go vote? All right, I'm laying down. Hubby was laughing when I was trying to get on it and lay down. Uh, and I'm kind of dizzy. I think I would have liked a stationary 
um, thing that laid down. This is making me dizzy. Have you brought me a pillow? And uh, much better. I'm not dizzy now, laying down. Um, and it's pretty strong. It says it will hold up to 750 pounds. Um, yeah. I'll let you know how it holds up. We'll see how many years it lasts. Again, y'all know, listen, um, in Florida, things just don't last as long. We are going to buy um, two, or I might have some, two, you know, paver stepping stones to put under the legs so they're not laying in the grass and getting moisture every day and hopefully so it won't rust out and stuff like that so uh, we've had one of these swings before this type um it lasted a good number of years but again florida and look at that i got a little I'm nap sweet, partner baby. this would be a great place to take it out. oh nope <laughs> he's off being lazy today i think y'all i think this is gonna be a two-part um vlog video i might make it three like i did that one time where i did a three day long vlog um yeah we'll see i definitely think it's gonna be two-parter so stay tuned tomorrow for the second part um i'm going to go inside and make myself some lunch and i don't know what else i'm going to do <laughs> Oh, and the swing's not staying there. It's going to go over there, but we need to... Did I already say that? We need to move that other swing and do something with it before we put this one over there and make the ground level somehow. Uh, um, yeah. I'm having some taco salad leftovers from... It was actually Wednesday. We didn't have taco Tuesday until Wednesday because we ate out on Tuesday. So there's some chicken in here. Some beans, some onions, tomatoes, avocado. That's what I'm having for lunch. And I think I'm needing to go to the store because, and I need to take a shower. So I think I'm gonna make a crab boil for, hubby for um, dinner tomorrow. I was gonna do Zupa Descana, but I talked to him and I changed, we changed my mind. I'm gonna go save the Zupa Descana for when it's colder. Um, I'm going to make a crab boil. I've never done that before, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty easy. So I'm going to make that. He he loves that kind of thing. So I'm going to make that and then the cheesecake. But that probably will be in tomorrow's video, I think. Not All sure. right, just making a list here. I think after I eat, I just want to spend the whole day outside. <laughs> not after I eat, just now. It's just so nice. It's not... It's so nice. I just want to sit here and spend the whole day outside. But uh, I got stuff to do. So, um, I need to get some shrimp, some crab legs, corn, sausage seasoning, and I think I have some potatoes. I have to check. And then I got to go to um, the liquor store and get the Kahlua. And so I think I'm going to take a shower after, um, after I eat and do that get that done and out of the way and then see what else I'm going to do before today. I take a shower and go to the store I changed out the light bulbs up there finally I can check that off of my anti-procrastination list I'm going to clean and decorate the um entryway before I take a shower so yeah Okay, done. Now, this is a mess. Anyway, we won't talk about that. All right, finished. So, um, I just threw a bunch of pumpkins, leftover pumpkins. 
I did not take out all my fall decor this year and just threw it in this basket. If I find some more, I'll fill it up so it's like full, full I don't know, bubbling over <laughs> pumpkins or something. So, um, yeah, I probably need to go through my decor and downsize it. I don't know. It's just one of those years I didn't feel like putting anything out. So, I did this is new. This, yeah, I wasn't going to do this anymore. I was just going to buy covers for, um my pillows, which I have done that, so it saves space, but I couldn't resist. I just really like this. This was from Walmart. And then that's the crochet blanket that I made the other year. I'm really liking that. I wanna make a Christmas one like this too, with different the different patterns and stuff. And actually make one for my sister too. She asked me to make her one that matches her living room. It's like turquoise, teal, I don't know those colors. And I've had this carpet for years from Pier 1, and I bought that last year, so I hung that up, and it goes with this pumpkin that I bought last year, too, from Home Goods. I think both of the wreaths and this I bought from Home Goods, and these are pumpkins that I made. It's just made, um, I showed this on Instagram. You just take toilet paper, unravel it, and make it, and roll it back up so it's poofy, and then just take an 18 by 18 piece of material and stick it in the hole and then this is a clothespin with some ribbon um burlap ribbon wrap around it done <laughs> and then you can undo it when halloween or fall is over and yeah you want you could use toilet paper and you won't have to worry about um storing it so uh the rest of the stuff i have had well, okay, this is new. I got this at Publix. Yeah, every year I buy something at Publix. They have decorations there for the season. And um, they always have something unique that nobody else has. So I like to buy that. Um, I've had these owls forever. They're from Pier 1. They light up. Um, you're not, I probably need new batteries and stuff. And then all this other stuff I've had. These um, chalk. I don't remember where I got these little black chalk squares, but you can just wipe them off and write on them. Owls I've had forever. Um, and then I just went on um, Google and looked up Halloween chalk sign and copied off of um, somebody's uh, idea. <laughs> it did come out exactly, but I think it's pretty good and I think it looks pretty cute. So what do you think? All right, so I am going to go take a shower and go to the store and get stuff for dinner tomorrow for hubby's birthday and the Kahlua. Yeah, gotta go do that. Okay, I did not end up going to the grocery store. Hubby said just wait, because he wanted to try to go early vote. So yesterday when I went to the gynecologist, I stopped at Burlington and I got this shirt it's kind of slit, kind of high on the sides. I was thinking of more wearing it with leggings. Anyway, it's really lightweight, up, and I like the way it looks and stuff. So um, he's finishing up a meeting right now, and yeah, they're still talking. So um, it closes at six. We want an early vote, so we'll see if that happens. And then after that, I'm gonna go to the grocery store and he's gonna go for a bike ride. Okay, y'all, I'm very confused. We did not get to vote because they closed the facility down due to COVID today. It had been open for early voting, but today they had to close it down, which I don't understand. I do, somebody in that office caught COVID. I know, but what if it was your precinct on voting day? They got They're going to close that down? They've got nobody to work it. Then you can't vote. You have to go somewhere else. Not if that's your precinct on voting day. You have to, okay. you can only vote at your precinct. I don't sure get it. They would find a solution. If I find out something different. Anyway, so tomorrow morning, we're going to go to a different place, facility that does early voting. In case you don't know. I don't know. This is how it is in our county. You don't have to vote at your precinct place there's special early voting places to vote and anybody from any precinct can go there but on the day of voting you have to go to your precinct which i don't understand at all <laughs> yeah i don't get it either but i read it like like five times make sure i was understanding what it said so 
yeah we'll try again tomorrow and until next time i will see you tomorrow <laughs> and because that's it for this video i think i will um it will continue tomorrow and i will be making hubby special um dinner and a special dessert and uh, until next time enjoy your day you want to say something nope <laughs> lovely